Hi friends. Today I want to read another excerpt from a book, which is um, the book called is called How We Decide by John O'Leary. This is the what the title looks like, so or what the cover looks like. How We Decide by John O'Leary. This book um, helped me uh, kind of achieve a, a personal epiphany that I talk about in my TEDx talk, which is about how um, decision making really. Um, or, or really just more generally how emotional intelligence is so important and um, John O'Leary talks about how emotions affect decision making and how useful they are and how important they are in decision making in this book and uh, I just want to read a small part of the introduction which explains kind of a little bit of the background um, behind the, the, the book so um, this is an introduction from How We Decide by John O'Leary As long as people have made decisions They've thought about how they make decisions. For centuries, they constructed elaborate theories on decision-making by observing human behavior from the outside. Since the mind was inaccessible, the brain was just a black box. These thinkers were forced to rely on untestable assumptions about what was actually happening inside the head. Ever since the ancient Greeks, these assumptions have revolved around a single theme, Humans are rational. When we make decisions, we are supposed to consciously analyze the alternatives and carefully weigh the pros and cons. In other words, we are deliberate and logical creatures. This simple idea underlies the philosophy of Plato and Descartes. It forms the foundation of modern economics. It drove decades of research in cognitive science. Over time, our rationality came to define us. It was Simply put, what made us human? There was only one problem with this assumption of human rationality. It's wrong. It's not how the brain works. So how do we make decisions? What factors influence our choices? For the first time in human history, these questions can be answered. We can look inside the brain and see how humans think. The black box has been broken open. It turns out that we weren't designed to be rational creatures. Instead, the mind is composed of a messy network of different areas, many of which are involved with the production of emotion. Whenever someone makes a decision, the brain is awash in feeling, driven by its inexplicable passions. Even when a person tries to be reasonable and restrained, these emotional impulses secretly influence judgment. Despite the claims of many self-help books, intuition isn't a miraculous cure-all. Sometimes feelings can lead us astray and cause us to make all sorts of predictable mistakes. The human brain has a big cortex for a reason. The simple truth of the matter is that making good decision requires us to use both sides of the mind. For too long we've treated human nature as an either-or situation, where either rational or irrational. We either rely on statistics or trust our gut instincts. There is Apollonian logic versus Dionysian feeling. The id against the ego. The reptilian brain fighting the frontal lobes. Not only are these dichotomies false, they're destructive. There is no universal solution to the problem of decision making. The real world is just too complex. As a result, natural selection endowed us with a brain that is enthusiastically pluralist. Sometimes we need to reason through our options and carefully analyze the possibilities. And sometimes we need to listen to our emotions. The secret is knowing when to use these different styles of thought. We always need to be thinking about how we think. All right, so that was just a small part from the introduction of um, How We Decide by John O'Leary. Um, fantastic book on um, how the mind works, especially how the unconscious mind um, leads a lot of the decision making that we that we undertake, and uh, and how we can, as he says, balance the prefrontal cortex rational mind that we have with the emotional and unconscious mind, and to make the best decisions we can, um, and it's useful in all sorts of different fields no matter what you do decision making is part of what you do and so i think it's just really a good idea to understand how we make decisions better and this is i think the best book on that topic 
That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.